Well, good evening to you. It's Wednesday. It's the 8th of April. It's Bobcast. Wednesday of Holy Week. Good to be here. How has your day been? Has it been good? Has it been bad? Has it been indifferent? Um, yeah, mine has been challenging. I think there's no doubt about that. Uh, so many different emotions around today. Um, been doing strange things. Been writing, well, I wrote a State of the Union letter to the church and to all our members. I hope you've got it. If you haven't got it, let me know. Um, I tried looking for gold at one point, but for some reason it just didn't pan out. Um, I know. By the way, I used to be a baker. I don't know if you know that, but uh, I just never made enough dough for some reason. And uh, then I worked in a, in a blanket in a sheet factory, but it just folded. It's a difficult time, isn't it? And you can tell I've got a new list of jokes here. Just silly little, silly little one, one-liners. Uh, one I love, I decided I'm going to get fit. So I rang our local gym instructor and uh, said, can you teach me to do the splits as of interest? And he said, well, how flexible are you? I said, I can't come on Tuesdays. <laughs> yeah, OK. So all sorts of different emotions today. Um, I, was, I wrote a State of the Union letter to, uh, to the church. And it was rather nice to be able to say that uh, Michael is getting better. Slowly but surely, step with tiny wee tippy toe steps, but he's beginning to get better. So, so that's so that's good. And um, I also had to write my letter for Easter morning, and uh, oh, for whom the bell tolls. Um, you can tell now it's half past nine, can't you? So this looks fresh off the press at ten when it comes through. Um, I used to work. I used to work for the Inland Revenue, but I found it very taxing, very taxing indeed, and. Uh, Yes, I've just seen one here. I used to be a marathon runner, but I couldn't stand the agony of defeat. Hmm, yeah, I'm not, I'm not so sure about that. Maybe I'll just bring my list across and uh, move into a different one. So, to go back to the prologue, to go back to uh, to the main story, I was uh, I wrote my letter to go onto the website and to go out in the post for Easter Day. That was a challenge to me because um, normally I live Holy Week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I tell you the three reflections that we've had, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Sandy, Margaret and Richard, they've been fantastic. If you haven't, used, if you haven't seen them, go onto the website and look at the reflections for Holy Week and have a read of them. They are great. Um, so I usually live Holy Week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, traditionally we have the Chrism Mass, where the oils of healing and things are blessed in the cathedral and um, all priests, deacons and readers are asked to renew the vows they made when they were licensed. Um, and then, of course, Good Friday. And it was always after Good Friday that um, I would write my sermon. If, well, I call it a sermon. Other people call it a talk. Other people call it a, a theological implant, e.g. it needs a bit of the theology implanted into it. Um, but I would always write my talk then as I went through the journey of Holy Week. Um, so today was was different, writing it this morning and uh, then sending it off to be proofread and not getting too many corrections. That was rather nice, actually. Yeah, getting getting there slow but sure. Um, I'm pleased about that. I once asked my mum if I was a gifted child and she said, well, we certainly wouldn't have paid for you. <laughs> Did you hear that? Because I snorted. We certainly wouldn't have paid for you, is, uh, is, was, the, was the answer. Did you hear about the musician, by the way, who robbed a bank? He ran off with the loot. He was a sort of middle century type of guy. Um, yes. So, um, and then this afternoon, Grace and I um, had the privilege, the sadness, uh, yeah, the privilege, I think, of conducting Tony Bacon's funeral. And uh, we went to the Borders Crematorium to do that. And this was new. I've been ordained 25 years. I've never experienced anything like this. Um, t there were 10 chairs. There were only four people in the congregation uh, because it's family only and others couldn't get there. And um, we weren't allowed in. And we weren't allowed, well, we, you know, we weren't allowed in before the service. So we went round to the office, as we always do, to go through so we can get changed in the vestry and sort it out. And they said, we're really sorry, we can't let you in until the coffin arrives. 
So there we were dressed in our normal clothes, dog collar and, you know, jumper and that, and that type of thing. Um, and we're like walking cashmere. And we had to go around the back of the creme and change. And there was just something funny about it. And, you know, you should never laugh because today wasn't a laughing matter at all. But there was just something funny about the two of us, you know, taking off jumpers and putting on cassocks and buttoning up 39 buttons, trying to say the articles as you go. And then finding your book and putting your jumper over a wall. There was nowhere to hang things. Then I've got this huge cotter, which is the, not cotter, it's surplus, actually. There's a cotter hanging behind me. Cotter, square surplus round neck and um i've got this huge cathedral surplus that i got when i was made a prebendary and of course it's like you know it's like a sail billowing with the wind and all the things oh dear and grace and i just got the giggles which actually was rather nice because it just relieved some of attention but taking the service which was also done as a live webcast um was just something i've never experienced before and uh you know, I'm a hugger. I think lots of people say, that's an old that Bob King, he's a silly old hugger. I'm sure that's what they're saying. Um, and I like to be able to appropriately, and I do mean appropriately, give people a hug if it's okay. Um, weren't able to do that. We were sort of apart from people and there was just four in the congregation and Grace and I and the um, crematorium attendant. It was... It was a proper funeral. It was done properly. Nothing was changed from what what we would do normally. But but it was different. And so if any of you have to go through that, then you know, we be, need to be prepared for it. So it was uh, it was quite it was quite a challenge really. Um, so, but anyhow, you know, today is my first day of going out. I mean, yesterday was exciting. Oh, yesterday I was so excited because it was the time to take out the rubbish. To cut, you know, rubbish came being collected on a Tuesday. What did I wear? What should I put on? Do I put on full makeup? What do I do? What do I do? Gosh, it's uh, it was just absolutely amazing. It was it was brilliant. So here we're on Wednesday. I still haven't decided where I'm going to go for Easter. Um, I'm thinking either the lounge or the dining room. Haven't quite made up my mind yet, but uh, going through a few brochures and giving it giving it some serious thought. Um, but you know things are things are biting all the time, aren't they? And we're having to be careful of the rationing and all the things we've got. Isla, by the way, is as interested as ever, as you can hear in in in, in the background. Um, something that just just amazed me really. Um, you know, I used to, when I used to go to the loo, there's a lot of information, you know, you would spin the, uh, the, 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 the loo paper and do whatever you had to do with it. So you don't, you don't need to know that. And now I realise I turn it like I'm cracking a safe. Hmm. Once saw a lovely advert in the Monty Python Papabock, a book that came out a long time ago. If you find a copy of it secondhand, well worth the read. It's very funny. Very, very, very funny indeed. But they have some adverts and one of them says, are you looking for a safe job? Then it says, Fingers and I are planning to do one a week on Friday. Give us a ring. Yeah, that did, that, that did make me chuckle. Right, so how are you doing with the kids at home um, for the holidays? I think homeschooling is going pretty well, I have to say, but uh, but I did hear from, from one place that two pupils have been suspended for fighting and a teacher had been sacked for drinking on the job. Um, but that was by quarter past nine in the morning, so, uh, so I suppose that wasn't too bad. But it does get to you, doesn't it? Uh, this morning I saw our next door neighbour talking to a cat and it was obvious, <laughs> completely obvious, that uh, she thought that the cat understood what she was saying. I thought, oh dear, oh dear. I came into the house and told Isla and Isla and I just laughed and laughed and laughed. Oh, we did laugh. So there we go, Wednesday, Holy Week, moving towards Maundy Thursday, a bit more about that tomorrow, washing of feet, celebration of, the, of the communion, Jesus taking bread, breaking it, taking a cup, drinking and giving and sharing as, as, as we do. And then of course, Good Friday with the cross and the pain and the things that, that go with that. I hope you're surviving. I hope you're okay. You know, it's okay to be worried and fed up. It's okay to be cross. It's okay to be lonely. 
this time of year, we often think of those that we've loved. And I've realized, you know, I've talked a little bit today about a funeral and maybe that brings back memories for each of you as well. And that's okay. Remember, if you need to talk, just lift the phone and ring. That's what I'm here for, 24 hours a day. And uh, talking is such an important part. Talking is part of our healing. And we all need that opportunity to be able to just get things that have been deep inside and bring them out sometimes. And this enforced rest and space gives us the opportunity to find the right person to tell. And uh, it's, it's liberating, absolutely liberating. So, um, so there we are. I don't know what you're doing tomorrow. Sadly, I'm taking Rob Dick's funeral tomorrow and our prayers go to Leslie and the family as they would go to Anne and her family today. Um, but that will be a day of memories as well and all the other things. So uh, let's just pause for a second. No, not your pause. You don't need your pause, thank you. Wait, she's waving them in the, waving them in the background there. Let's just pause for a minute, P-A-U-S-E. Give thanks for all that's around us. Pray for those who are on our mind, who we're worrying about. Think about ourselves as well. Where we are, who we are, what we need to do. And so let us pray. Watch, dear Lord, with those who watch and wake or weep tonight. Give thine angels charge over those who sleep. Rest your sick ones, Lord Christ. Rest your weary ones. Bless your dying ones. Soothe your suffering ones. Pity your afflicted ones. And shield your joyous ones. All for your love's sake. Amen. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always on your back and the sunshine warm against your face. May the rain fall gently in each of your fields. And until we meet again, hopefully tomorrow on Bobcast, may God hold you tightly and lovingly in the palm of our hand. See you tomorrow. Bye.